Hey friends, good evening. I'm going to work on the Jeep tonight and hopefully the audio is going to be a whole hell of a lot better because I bought a Rode go-to wireless system. Was not my first choice, but I think it'll work just fine. I really wanted the DJI one because I, I actually think it's superior in some aspects, but I'm not going to wait six weeks for something I have to pay 30% more for. Sorry, China. I'll buy the Australian product, even though it's probably made in China too. Anyway, so back to the Jeep. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to work on the top end, getting this ready to pull. So, um, yeah, I guess this will work. I'll just secure it here. Of course, now it won't stay. Nope. Just never know. There's never a really good place to put a camera on a vehicle. But you know what, I think this will work. There we go. So um, I gotta go get a paint pen, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna wear gloves tonight because I really don't want to get grease caked in my fingers tonight. This isn't gonna be a long video, I'm not gonna spend two hours on this one tonight. But, so what I did is I went out, well, I didn't go out, but I ordered the least expensive white uh, paint pen that I could find. Ah, darn it. How do we get this open? There we go. So uh, this just came from Walmart. It was, you know, ordered it with my groceries. And uh, I guess I don't need to get up there quite yet. So, what I want to do is pull these, and these should just pop up, but they're not going to, so let me get a screwdriver to encourage them. Now, one of the videos I watched online said the longer the screwdriver, the easier this was. And you want to just get it in here, and hey, you know what? He was right. Um, so we're just going to get in here and pop these loose. Okay, so those are loose. We'll put that in the handy. And then we're just going to pull all these up. That gives us access to the button on the side, which lets us pull this. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna clean that off with my thumb and I'm gonna mark each of these markers cause I don't, I just, All right, so I'm gonna put a mark here and then I just set it off to the side and hope it dries. And to make this go a little smoother, I'm gonna grab a paper towel. and clean this off before I mark it. My handwriting's not that fantastic. And the way you dispense paint from these pens is you push down on the tip. So we're gonna clean that off. Set it to the side. Uh, now I'm going to come around here to the side of the Jeep. Oh, that was a mistake. This is a
I don't know why that one was so hard to get out of there. That's a four. Needless to say, my phone rings. Okay, so let's get back to where we were. So uh, I gotta put another set of gloves on. One of my friends calling to check and see was my Jeep running yet. And I told him, no, it's a little bit slower project than that. That's all right. That's kind of how this is going to go. I'm going to take my time with this. I'm going to have fun. And I'll get to it when I get to it. That one's stuck. Ah, so the problem is it actually was not stuck. It's that the red clip wasn't up high enough to unlock it. Last of them. And then we'll leave that alone while it dries. So the next thing I need to do is I need to get this bus rail either open or off or both. And so we're going to start with off. It's supposed to be a press fit, but man, I don't, I don't see how it press fits. Somebody said you can just pull it off, but I have not found that to be the case. Oh, sure you can. And of course I cracked it, but that's all right. I don't think that matters. Oh, I did more than cracked it. I flat out broke it, which is what I was afraid that would happen. I still think it'll work just fine. That pisses me off. All right, so I've got another connector down here that I gotta try and figure out. This one's for the air conditioning.
So let me go check YouTube and see how to pull that apart. I'll be back. All right, so this connector right here that you can see down where my hand is, I'm gonna try and get the camera closer to that because that's what's giving me grief right now. All right, so that'll let you guys see what I'm fighting with. I'm put on a fresh set of gloves. And by the way, I'm just using the cheap Harbor Freight, you know, three millimeter uh, nitro gloves and they work just fine. So the issue is that this tab needs to slide that way. So we're gonna see if we can push it from here. And it's probably just caked with crap. After all, it's a Jeep and this would be exposed. There we go. So I wanted to do this real close because there aren't any good videos showing how to unlock these damn things. And I was sitting here fighting with it and fighting with it and fighting with it. And it's real hard to get to in the first place. So now you wanna just push and that unlocks and that's what we're trying to do so anyway next there's another thing down here and i'm gonna set this all right so i'm gonna get a flashlight so you guys can see what i'm and i can see what i'm fighting with so there is a convenient little connector here that is holding this wire on and it's got to come out. out. And I really don't have a good way to get it out so I'm just going to cut the damn thing off. As soon as I find a pair of cutters. this and this plastic shit's just disintegrating and of course wouldn't you know it that this snakes all the way up through here because yeah that makes the completely the most sense possible all right so Magic point. By the way, this this uh, wire bus that I broke was $17.99 on eBay. That was really uh, nice. So I'm gonna push that to the side. So that one's that one's free. Now I've got one more, and it's got some 10 millimeter stuff. Um, so let me get a socket for that, and we'll get that loose. Pretty sure these are 10 millimeter. Yeah. And
So one of the things that I do, and I'll turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing, is I bag all these little bolts and things that come off here. So these are intake, driver side, wire channel bolts and that may not be what chrysler calls them but that's what i call them and it'll mean something to me so i'll be able to find put them back where they belong and then i'm going to seal this little ziploc bag you can get a bag uh you know i bought whatever walmart had that was cheap and then i just add it to the stack behind me now let's see so we got another another clip and we'll just pull that back This pisses me off they can't use the same style of connector on all these. So every one of these is a little bit different puzzle. Really does just irritate the shit out of me. because there's nothing cheap on these fucking parts and I don't want to break any of them. So there was a bunch of crap caked up in there. So when I used that, that was able to, I was able to reach in there and lift. Uh, and you can see all this junk that's on here. Um, and I'm not gonna mess with it. You know, this is a, this is strictly a, it's coming off here so I can work on it and it'll go back on. All right. So now I've got an oxygen sensor down here. Okay, so I've got a little phantom connector up here. And again, Chrysler couldn't use the same connector everywhere. They gotta use 55 different connectors for 56 different connections. Man, this is irritating. It's no wonder they lost money. The whole idea of mass automotive production is to standardize, not to find a different connector for every single stupid fucking part you use. twist this up here and I think 
this can go up here too. I'm not convinced this is actually a good location for it, but that'll get it out of my way for the moment. Now there's one more thing that needs to happen over here. And I can't promise this is gonna go well because it should be under pressure, but it's gonna go. So I've gotta do, I've gotta release this fuel pressure line, this fuel line to get, because it's just gotta be disconnected. And there's a little 10 millimeter nut down here. So we'll start with that. Well, maybe we'll start with it. So let me grab a 10 millimeter wrench. All right, so I'm gonna bag that again. So, I'm sorry that's not the best view of this, but that's the view you're going to get. So, what I believe should happen is this will unlock like that. Now, that unlocks this line, and then i got to get a piece down in there. Uh, should be a real specific widget that releases that. So let me see. I'm going to stop the camera while I look for it. So I can't find the plastic ones I'm looking for. I'm going to try these metal ones. I don't have... I, I really don't expect these to slip in here, but this one might. And of course, the air conditioner line is run right where... It's like a comedy of errors. You can't get your... All right, so the black one doesn't work. Let's try the next size up. Fortunately, these were only a few dollars at Harbor Freight. I, and I bought the metal ones and I bought the plastic ones. These actually look like they might work. The plastic ones absolutely did not work on the transmission cooler line, so don't waste your money there. Or the, these did not work on the transmission cooler lines. You know, if I could get my hands in here, hey, it worked. 
and it wasn't under that much pressure. So that's pretty impressive that it worked because it was only five or six bucks. It was really pretty cheap. So now we're gonna thread this out of here somehow. I'm not terribly worried about the fact that it's got gasoline in it. In fact, I think this is a really good time to bring out some of the bungee cords I bought at Wal from Walmart. So I figured there would be a point in this project just like this where I needed to bungee something up out of the way, just like this. So, so you guys can see what I did. I just used a little cheap bungee to pull this up out of the way because it's gonna be not in the right spot when I go to uh, lift the engine out, which hopefully isn't as far off as it seems. So, um, I made really good progress tonight. I broke another $18 part. I got the electric out of the way on the top. And um, I think at this point, everything is clear and we're ready to fly on the engine, uh, at least electrically. So, I got to do some stuff under it. I'm not in the mood to mess with it tonight. So, we're going to stop here. Uh, and. Um, I mean, you know, that's my engine mount right here, part of my frame. It's not supposed to be where it's at. I'll fight that fight another day. Um, that's part of what's got to happen with the engine. I mean, this frame just basically noodled up here, and I'm pretty sure we can get it out. It's It's got some kinks in it, so it may need to be reinforced. We'll see. Remember to like, subscribe, and sign up for the alerts so you can see what I'm doing and what I'm up to. And um, the next step is we're going to deal with the torque converter and then we're gonna hook the chain up and then we're gonna lift it out and that might be tomorrow's project because i'm not working tomorrow so i got time to fight with the jeep and curse about uh, chrysler's engineers thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy my videos